So here I am in front of this marvellous Syntrex. It's really a lovely bit of kit and it reminds me so much of 50 years ago when I got my first BCS3. Well, when I say I got it, it was the first prototype. I had designed what I wanted on the BCS3 from all of those bits and pieces which I longed to get in a in an ex-army junk shop in London. Instead, I had to buy gigantic bits of equipment. But here, everything is all together. And also, I transported my idea of a matrix panel. I, in my studio, I had a gigantic matrix panel. Here is an example of it, which must have been 256 by 256. So I didn't have any leads. Whereas now, in my modern studio here, I'm covered in leads, USB leads, all sorts, hundreds of leads, audio leads. I wish I could have a matrix board to go away with all the leads. Anyway, back to the Syntrax. It's very like using my old VCS3, except that with that, I was hopeless. I could never do a demo. I could never set up patches. I, in fact, I didn't really use it. I used only my computer and I had established the first computer for use with electronic music. But anyway, here we have it and it I've got a conventional sort of patch here and it behaves in roughly the same sort of way as, as a AKS or VCS3. There are differences. One of the big differences is there's no matrix pins and you have a sort of matrix um, adjustment with two knobs and you press it to make a click and indeed you have two levels of click. Anyway, what I want to say is congratulations to Syntrex. It's a marvellous bit of kit and I'm very enthusiastic about it and thank Latvia very much for send me, sending me it and I hope to use it a lot. Thank you very much.